everyone welcome back to my channel today's video will be about dolce and gabbana light blue and light blue intense if you're interested about my thoughts on this fragrance stay tuned so if you're interested in light citrusy fresh scents this would be the type of fragrance that you would reach for which they would call like a dummy reach so like you just don't think about it it's something that you mostly go for or a safe reach for your go-to fragrances. So the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and this is the fragrance right here. Now this one is the EDT version, and this is the 3.3 fluid ounce. I'm pretty sure I have a smaller bottle, but I cannot find it for some reason, so I had to bring out the big bottle. This fragrance you can get out of your local retail department store. You are bound to find this fragrance of all fragrance. I'm pretty sure also that during the holiday season, the blue box will pop up and you will see it all over, especially like in Burlington and Marshalls. And they also have the men's version if you're looking or interested in getting uh, the male version to the women's version if you two want to, I guess, smell the same. So it's pretty affordable and they also have a lot of other flankers to this fragrance. So to me, I mean, I could do a, a video talking about that, but to be honest, I think they all smell the same in my opinion, except for the intense and we will get into that in a few. So yeah, let's get into the main accords and the notes. So the main accords are citrus, woody, fresh, fruity, aromatic, musky, powdery, and green. The top notes are Sicilian lemon, apple, cedar, and bellflower. The middle notes are bamboo, jasmine, and white rose. And the base notes are cedar, musk, and amber. So this is listed as a floral fruity fragrance and Fragrantica is saying that Dolce & Gabbana light blue is a casual and breezy sparkling fruity floral scent that invokes the spirit of the Sicilian summer. Mouth watering and fresh notes of lime and cedar are bringing an image of the south woods on the shore. A very popular summer fragrance. So I definitely agree, it is a floral fruity fragrance, mainly uh, citrusy, so you're gonna smell more of like the lemon note, if anything. Um, actually, if you look at the bottle, the juice, it does give off that lemon juice or uh, diluted lemon juice in like watercolor. So yeah, it is a fresh a citrusy scent. So this is definitely something you can wear like after a shower and you're not looking to wear something that's like too much or too heavy. This is also safe enough to definitely wear during the daytime. Um, also safe enough to wear in the office unless someone at the office just doesn't like citrusy since the only thing that mm, i'm like iffy about it is sometimes like during the summertime when you wear certain fragrances that have certain notes in it you will attract the bumblebees honeybees really the the bumblebees they like to circle around you when you're wearing certain fragrances so sometimes during the summertime i do not like to wear my fragrances um because they just attract the insects and i just don't want to be attacked so if i know that i'm going to be indoors majority of the time definitely around air condition uh places where it 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 lightly projects um so you will probably have like your own little uh citrusy a fresh bubble um like i said it's it's safe enough to wear indoors but outside once you hit outside 
just possibly uh look out because you might be on the attack by the insects unfortunately so yeah it's a nice light playful scent i like it it's definitely safe to wear if you're not into citrusy scents i mean give it a try you might like it um it doesn't give off like you know like a uh, cleaning scents because you know they have a lot of citrus scents in like cleaning products so to me it doesn't give off that that type of smell it's very light like i said especially when you just getting out the shower and you just want to put on something light or the type of outfit like sometimes i think of when i like wear this fragrance or i'm going to wear this fragrance it's like a white uh button button up shirt with like some nice light blue jeans and some nice sandals or some fancy slides cute purse and other accessories with like a slick back hairdo and cute shades so that's the type of like outfit i would think of when wearing this and it also to me kind of gives off uh like the 90s vibe uh, i know a lot of the 90s fragrances um give or take certain fragrances are not so great but it just gives me like a cool 90 vibe so yeah this is dolce and gabbana light blue the edt version so this is the light blue intense and it says boop, down here at the bottom oh intense and this is the 1.6 fluid ounce but it is in the it's the edp version so as you can see different in size and different in the color of the juices so we're gonna get into the main accords it is listed as citrus musky fresh fruity aromatic amber powdery woody green and white floral the top notes are lemon granny smith apple the middle notes are jasmine and marigold and the base notes are musk and amberwood so as far as the two fragrances go for the most part in the main accords they share most of the accords and as far as the notes between the two they do share the lemon the green apple the jasmine the musk and i believe that's it now i bought this at sephora and when i purchased the box i guess i wasn't paying attention because like i said i like to purchase the big bottles so when i opened the package i was like why why do i have the small bottle but nonetheless i kept that i didn't return it to get the big bottle so it's whatever so between the two some of the fragrances um, that I have shown, it looks like I'm not using them, but I really am. Like I said, I have a lot of fragrances, so I'm trying to use as much as possible. And some fragrances I do reach for more frequently than others, but I do use my fragrances. So if I had to choose between which one I like better i would prefer the intense one and even though it's intense it's not heavy at all in my opinion i think it actually smells better too this it just i think of being on someone's island or the beach or just near water when i smell this fragrance it's just something about it it's a beautiful beautiful scent 
uh, the regular, the original light blue. It's like, it's kind of faint. It, it gives off more of like the, that lemon note. So if you don't like to smell like lemons, uh, I, I wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be for you and I wouldn't get it. Or what you could do is just purchase the smaller uh, bottle and test it out. But it definitely gives off more of the lemon note, if anything. This here, the Intense. It's just... It's just beautiful. It's it's like it's it's intense, but it's soft to me. I think if anything, these two need to switch. Like these two need to switch. This needs to be the intense because the lemon note in here is strong. It's strong, but this is like it's like light and pillowy and fresh and clean, and it's just it's such a pretty scent. Mm. this is the way to go if you're interested or if you have this fragrance let me know if you agree i prefer the intense one i feel like this is like the grown woman and this is like the i don't know what you want to call i i don't know i mean it's, it's not bad but i'm just saying like that the lemon note is heavy and in the original one so it's not bad either they're both safe um so especially wear during the day and like in the office somewhere or if you want to take the kids to the park you don't want to wear something too heavy just something just to spritz on and um uh, definitely i would spray on obviously the skin um in the hot spots area um you know put a little Vaseline or body oil there and then spritz some and then spray, uh, spray some on the clothes to make it last longer. Um, but like I said, if I had to choose between the two, definitely go for the intense. Definitely go for the intense. If you are into fresh, clean, light uh, fragrances, definitely pick this up. Um, in my opinion, I, I just wouldn't steer you wrong when it comes to the light blue. So, did not want to make this video too long. These are my opinions on the Dolce & Gabbana light blue line, the original, and the intense version. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!